spinning paper belly. Oh, how are you? <laughs> it's good How's to see you. How's it going? Good to see you. Fine. Good. Karen. I'm Gene Wilson. Nice to see you. That Gene Delay speaks the world of you, Bill. Oh, yeah. No? Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. He's quite a, an American hero here. Yeah. associated with organizations that are near and dear to our hearts. We often do take items uh, from our hometowns, and they do fly in the shuttle. We're actually not able to uh, touch them during the mission, but they pack them away uh, very tightly and very securely uh, in, the, in the deep uh, realms of the shuttle. And on my second flight, STS-120, that launched in 2007, I was able to take uh, this rendition of uh, John Young, Gus Grissom, and uh, Norman Rockwell with me on Space Shuttle Discovery. Uh, so it flew for 15 days on that mission, and it is certainly my great pleasure to return it, uh, along with some other items, uh, to the Norman Rockwell Museum. So that is the, uh, the image uh, that was printed on canvas, and the, after it flew, I uh, ran into John Young in, in the hall in the astronaut office, and I said, John, I have a photo of you and Norman Rockwell. Uh, John is now retired, uh, but still has very strong ties to the astronaut office and comes to many of our meetings and uh, will weigh in on many of the uh, issues that are the uh, topic of the day. And I asked if he would sign it, and he was very kind to, to sign it. So now uh, to the Norman Rockwell Museum, all the best, John Young. That's